So here I have a binomial divided by a monomial. Two terms on top in our numerator and one term in the denominator. So what we can do for however many terms we have in our numerator, we're going to set up separate fractions, okay? So I have two terms. I have this negative 25x squared in the numerator here, okay? And I have plus 10x. There are 10x, okay? And we'll put them over their common denominator of negative 5x. So that's it. We take each term in the numerator, put it over the denominator, and then really reduce. All you're going to do is leave each fraction in simplest terms. So for the first term here, 25 divided by 5 is 5. So you'll notice that the x in the denominator was to the first power. So I near, only need to subtract 1 from that 2 as far as exponents go. So I'm going to have a simple x term there. And so what happens here in the second fraction? We have plus, and don't forget this negative down here, okay? So this is going to create subtraction. Of course, 10 divided by 5 is 2, and our x's do both cancel, okay? But here's my answer, 5x minus 2. Simple as can be. Keep it simple. Let's try one more. Okay, so for this one, we have, let's kind of look at our terms. We have three terms, one, two, three terms in our numerator. That's how many fractions I'm going to need. Three fractions that we'll set equal to, set this equal to. And we'll have 4a, of course, the denominator is going to be the same in all of them. So we'll put the first numerator, right, the first term, negative 32, a cubed b. Okay, put that operator in the middle, 16a squared, and our 4a. Take a minute, make sure all your signs are accounted for. All right, so for our first fraction, okay, you have 4 goes in itself and it's 32, 8. Of course, this single A will cancel one of these, right? We'll make this a 2. And the B has no one to cancel with. So let's go ahead and write what we have left. Everything in the denominator is gone. We do have our negative still there, negative 8. We have an A squared B. Okay, next term, overall term, right? 4 into itself, into 16, 4 times. This single A will cancel 1 off of the 2 at the, in the exponent in the numerator. So that becomes what? Plus 4A. Okay, and finally, you can see that this will be a subtraction. It will remain the subtraction, right? The 4's cancel, leaves me 1. Remember, a number over itself is a form of 1. We like that. So look, everything canceled. What do I put? 1. So please be careful. Do not put a 0 there. It is 1. Okay? All right. One more example to do with you. This you can do. It has to do with your exponents. So if, some, if an expression contains a negative exponent, it is not simplified. So... If I give you guys directions, it reads something like simplify, okay, and let's say you have something like this, 3x plus 1 to the negative 2 times 3x plus 1 cubed. Okay, so let's say this is the problem here. Okay, we have this negative 2 that's an issue, okay? So this is the culprit here. It's causing this to not be fully simplified. Before I can do anything such as canceling or anything or carrying it out, say I wanted to go ahead and square the, th the number, the binomial. If I want to carry out the multiplication, I can't do anything like that until the exponent is positive. So important thing here, always remember that we can look at it in fraction form by placing it over 1. All right? You can do that in your head too. You don't have to do that here. But what we can do now is we can cross the fraction bar and make the negative 2 exponent positive. Okay, so let's keep our cube there. The 3x plus 1 cubed, right, over 3x plus 1 to the positive 2. 
Okay, so if you'll notice, this is a binomial. This is the same base, right, in the, for the cube in the top, and it's the same base for the square in the, if the bases match. These two, 3x plus 1s, will cancel 2 from those, okay? So really your answer will end up being 3x plus 1. Yay! Correct answer. All right, so you kind of want to be careful with that. And um, Okay, so one more thing. Uh, let's see. I'll give you one more. So maybe we have x plus 2 in the denominator. And let's say we have in parentheses x plus 2 to the negative 3. Let's say your problem looks like this. Notice the denominator uh, x plus 2 is not in parentheses yet. Put the binomial in a set of parentheses. And if you need to place a 1 on the exponent, go for it. If it helps you get the problem correct, do it. What's going to happen in the numerator is I'm going to leave a 1 there, okay? Now, I'm going to put the existing x plus 2. So this is the one that was there already, okay? And so this guy is going to go on that side, okay? So here's the new guy. And that would be x plus 2 positive cubed, right? Okay, let's clean up the denominator. Now we have like base. We use an a a to the first power times a cubed. Multiplying straight across with like bases, we go ahead and add the exponents. Okay, that's one of the very first exponent rules that we learned. So 1 in the numerator, and then we're going to have x plus 2, and then what? To the fourth power. Okay, for now you can leave this like this, okay? So anyway, I'll leave it at that. Y'all have a great day.